Back into the game for Grace. <coughs> Is, I believe, going to be Peyton Murphy back into the game for the Lady Lancers. And a wide open three by Grace. That one rims in and out no good and rebounded on the push out by Lily Krieger. And Lily Krieger's had a game. Eight points, a lot of rebounds. Mount Vernon up by 25. Brandon with it. She has that one poked away, but it will stay with MVNU. And that one, so we're going to have an inbounds play to the, to the left of the lane. Riley Peru has come to life here in the second half. 4.42 to go. Peru got to get it in quickly, and she does. Now back to Peru. Now they want now down low Krieger. Now up and under shot. No. Ball pinballs around. Saved by almost saved by Lily Krieger, but she tried to find Maggie Coe. Coe couldn't track it down. So Mount Vernon turns the ball over, I believe, for just the ninth time today. But that is way below their season average. As I believe Kenzie Ryman will take it up the floor for Grace. Mount Vernon four and a half minutes away from their first Crossroads League victory to go to 1-0 on the season for the first time in two years when Mount Vernon started off 13-3 in conference. Or 13-3 overall. And a foul going to be called on Peru. That's going to be her second. And I believe that's going to send Grace no. So it's, yep, it's going to be an inbounds play. That is Mount Vernon's third team foul, so they still have fouls to give should they choose to. And Mount Vernon's defense just falls asleep. And Grace says, I'll take points, Kenzie McMahon. So she has three, and the lead cut down to 23. 77-54, Mount Vernon got to get it across half court, and they do. As they now are going to slow things down a little bit. Under four minutes to play. Here's Walker with it on the near side. Now Brandon free throw line. They want to go Krieger's way down low, and they do. As Lily Krieger now goes into double figures with 10 as she got around the Grace defender in the post. And Mount Vernon leads 79-54, under three to play. And the Lancers will try and answer with that. And MBNU very efficient today and a long three. That's an air ball. Air balled by Peyton Murphy and she was open from the top of the key, but... She did not air have enough uh, underneath of it to score. And so with three and a half minutes to play, MBNU well in command. They fell behind 6 nothing, And in the first half, outscored Grace 43-14. to After falling behind 6 nothing in the first three minutes of the opening quarter. Here's Peru with it now on the near side wing. Now back to Walker. Now to Co. Co. Peru, near side wing, wide open three, just a little bit long. And rebounded by MVNU and Maggie Co. Lost that one out of bounds. So we'll go back to the Lancers. 309 remaining. MVNU well in command of this one. 